I will tell you something about um, <coughs> my tests with a horizontal homebrew wind generator of Savonius type. In uh, the first part, uh, you see some uh, paintings I've made on the wings of this uh, Savonius type. This uh, the blades of uh, the rotor uh, from an opened tin can, which I painted with uh, some motifs. Meanwhile, I will tell you something about my results. Uh, Simonius turbs are easier to construct than vertical generators because they are independent of the direction of the wind. The problem with Savonius rotors is that they are very high forces at high wind velocities, and I think that only professional experts could construct Savonius rotors, which have a wind catching area of more than half a quarter meter. With this uh, area, the velocity is about 10 meters per second. You can catch uh, more than, not more than 200 watts of wind energy from this area, in theory. Now, this is the power of a very sportive man, so remember the working forces on such a machine. Also remember that mechanical machines will destroy themselves fast and uh, have low lifetimes. Because of the low efficiency of the Savonius wind generator and other loses a non-professional homebrew will only get 10% of the wind power converted to electric energies. Now in the video you see the painted uh, wings of the Savonius uh, rotor which are made in two stages. Uh, the first uh, machine had only one stage, and uh, the second uh, has uh, two stages. Well, <coughs> so I did not expect me a lot of electric energy from this machine. Could be uh, about 15 watts sufficient to make some LED illumination and the charging of uh, this little battery is at 3 volts. So I decided to make a work of art with my Savonis rotor and paint the wings and illuminate them by night. I used only recycling material, put some screw rods and a rotten ceiling generator. The coils of the stator I took from this old Chinese ceiling ventilator. <coughs> there is no problem to homebrew a Savonis rotor lower than half of a quadrat meter. The problem for me was to have an effective electric generator. Could perhaps construct homebrewed electric generator. Could you use parts or the electric motors, therefore? But you normally have to make changing of the coils because they're constructed for 220 volts and you have to put magnets in exact experimented positions. There you can see uh, the one stage uh, machine and uh, the painted uh, uh, pictures on this. This is a two-stage uh, machine. Mm, well, if you put a small distance uh, uh, this uh, uh, magnet um, uh, and you get high energy out of it, uh, there's a big problem to send as a rotor and stator exact for non-experiment. Uh, because uh, the forces between ferromagnetic coil centers and neodymium magnets are very high. And I also think there's a problem with neodymium magnets because uh, there's much contamination and pollution of the environment uh, where the rare earth neodymium extracted from the soil. Uh, most of the neodymium magnets I myself took from an old hard disk. You also need much wind, remember that, but in windy region nobody wants to live and uh, there is not always wind. So you have to store the energy in batteries. Um, well now you see uh, uh, the two-stage uh, machine rotating in the middle of the two uh, Savonis rotors uh, that is positioned my uh, my ceiling uh, generator from an old ceiling ventilator and uh, I also have an upper and a lower stage for putting electric material. Uh, but charging for example an old uh, car battery you need at least 15 volts and 100 watts. So in my opinion there is no way for a known expert at home brewer. Uh, you would need constant wind velocity about 25 kilometers per hour and with catching error about one meter in quadrat. 
As I mentioned, the book Savuni wrote us have the uh, problem that there are high mechanical forces and uh, that our wind velocities of more than 25 kilometers per hour. You have to tighten this very fast, uh, soldering iron, and, and there is also a security problem. The Savonius, uh, which uh, rotates easy on low wind velocity, will not produce much electric power. Only if you can feel the magnetic force between the kernels or the coils and the magnets, when the magnetic field force changes on rotating, then you will get some electric energy. Some people don't take ferromagnetic material inside the coils because uh, there is a problem, as I mentioned, of attraction of higher forces between the neodyme magnets and I think uh, that they will recover energy with higher rotating velocities, but then you will have uh, great vibration and high centrifugal forces uh, to manage. Um, all professional generators have ferromagnetic centers inside the coils because the voltage then is about uh, a thousand higher than without ferromagnetic material inside the inducting coils. Uh, I have in my Serenus three experimented platform levers to put rotating magnets on holdings themselves. If the distance of the rotating magnets is larger, uh, you will get uh, more voltage uh, uh, because uh, they are rotating at higher velocities and eccentric forces of attraction in the middle out. And the distance of uh, the ferromagnetic call center and uh, uh, your magnets uh, is uh, uh, low and you have uh, high attractive forces and the change of the magnetic field and high and you will get uh, much energy. Yet yeah, there you see in the videos uh, the rotating uh, Savonius blades at night. Uh, this is funny to look at them at night. Well, um, now let's uh, take a look of uh, uh, more uh, details of uh, my construction. <coughs> As I mentioned, uh, the status of old Chinese ceiling ventilator. And uh, there are the ball bearings I took from the ceiling ventilator. Constructing my Savonius wings, I used uh, 25 liter tin cans, which I opened. Uh, uh, rotors of the ring iron, plus I put my nail dime items from the hard disks, tightening themselves. I experimented on three levels of rotating magnets, which I put on round circle plates of iron, which different radius over the magnets hold themselves in contact to the iron. I also constructed my own coils. Uh, we will see later in the video uh, these coils um, from uh, construction iron rods, uh, but with a thousand turns, uh, one coil. I receive the voltage of uh, 100 millivolts at uh, 10 kilometers per hour for wind velocities. So I have to construct about 30 of these coils. I need a tool for making coils. I also need much copper wire to make the uh, 30,000 turns. I will not do this. For me, it's a work of painting art illuminating itself by night, nothing more. It was only a funny experimenting uh, electric wind generator and assuming that I don't think it's a good practical art. It constructed electric wind generator at a homebrewed level. If you want to know more, please visit my homepage or go to my blog. There you see the blocks and some uh, electrical materials, a rectifier and some condensators 